Oh my God, God Mike D. You got a video camera. Look at you. It's <laughs> a handsome camera. You're a handsome guy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Behind the camera. Kill Switch's bus is the most boring bus in the world. Honestly, it's like a real world right now. When we toured with them, they were in a minivan. <laughs> that minivan was boring. <laughs> really? Who says that? Everybody? Everybody? Uh, do like, something funny. funny. Nope. It's true, actually. It is very quiet. I don't know if you would, would classify that as boring. That's not the truth in whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey is an angry. Whiskey is aggressive serum. Yeah. That kind of library feeling. Dude, come on, it's boring. It's boring, but... Well, de it depends on what you consider boring. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna rewind and tape over this. Definitely don't see people doing coke off a midget's ass in our bus. Nope. They are really chill. I'll tell you, you go on their bus, they're just sitting there. They're up there, like, listening to NPR and checking their stock report or whatever. I listen to a Journey song, I forget it in, like, five seconds. Boston's... How the fuck are you gonna forget a Journey song? Boston's... Boston has better hooks. No. They stick in your brain. <laughs> Isn't that? That's fucking great. All right. What's Journey done? They can't sing Journey. What has Journey done? We're pretty old, so... I think that's what makes it boring. They actually, uh, have an old recliner in the back of the, in the, back of the bus. And how it sits in, it's like he brings it from his house. And he's just relaxes with his clicker. Josh, how do we take this up a, a little bit? I don't know, dude. What do we do? There's times where I'm raging on my bus with my dudes, you know, listening to Judge, old hardcore, like moshing the front lounge, breaking things. Mosh! No! Oh, oh. <laughs> You're going after my balls, dude. That's so gay in a mosh pit, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> And then you walk on the kill switch bus and you're screaming, you're still in party mode, and they're all like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> you're the gayest straight dude ever. <laughs> We're calm dudes. Hat one, hat two, hold on. Hat two, hold on. Hat two, you know, mush. <laughs> we don't like to do the whole rock and roll thing, groupies running around. We save that for Shadows Fall and Lamb of God. Shake my ass. So what you got? Oh, you dick. Started on the Shadows Fall bus, and they had girls like tipped upside down and drinking beers and just having a good time. Going to Killswitch's bus, and they're listening to Beethoven, just chilling there, eating peanut butter sandwiches. What did I eat the other day? I had like Pop Tarts and ham. You're not gonna mistake their bus for Motley Crue 87. Nope! Get out of there, you fucking bitch! <laughs> I'd rather be on Def Leppard's bus. One time, we made a record, and it sounded like this. <laughs> What's going on? I love it. It's a sobering experience. It's cool. quite sober. Yeah. Who's your daddy? And what does he do? <laughs> You don't want to have to have a you know, beer in your hand. You don't want to have to be forced to try and do a shot. You're drunk. It's all your, it's peer pressure. It's your fault. Peer pressure. Three years of peer pressure from you. The and you. you. MD. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. you. Need to throw down? Not a problem. <laughs> Ask Vaughn Lewis about that. He'll tell you that DVD stands for drink, Vaughn, drink. I can't hang with Joel and whiskey. Whiskey put me on the ground in like a second. And Joel can drink more whiskey than any human being I've ever met. Cheers. Where is it? Are you zooming in or am I getting closer? I don't know. All right. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand my. Too drunk. What's up, Mike? Are you really videotaping me drunk in my bunk? Why? <laughs> Alright, turn that fucking thing off. <laughs> turn it off. Yeah, there's a party sense in a couple of them. Give me that. Hold on. <laughs> One time I knew a dude, his name was Mike D. We like to suck a dick. Oh, suck a dick. Suck a dick, Mike D. But realistically, on that bus, it's. 
it's mellow time. <laughs> I don't think I would survive on a bus with a bunch of guys that were totally crazy all the time. Because I'm just not totally crazy. J Fo is so J Fo is a Look at look what Justin did. We're gonna clean this up, but just tell me how you feel about this. Terrible. We're gonna clean we're, we're gonna clean this up. I don't think they're boring. They watch The Simpsons all day long. What's wrong with that? Okay. Ah! I'm about as excited as I could be about anything about that. You can just like say a line, like a Simpsons line, and he'll be like, oh, that was uh, the yeah. episode Bart of Darkness from season six. Uh, it would, came on and da 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 da, and Bart did that. He's like, him and actually Howard. Him and the, Howard, hugest Simpson fans in the world. What? I don't like The Simpsons. No, he doesn't. <laughs> your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberry. Justin can do an amazing Mr. Burns impersonation. He can. He can. Best I of love it. <laughs> Out of my way! I'm a motorist! If it's boring to some people, that's cool, you know, but for me, I'm, it's thrilling. A lot of kill switch offstage is falling asleep. Hey! <laughs> hey, there's plenty of room in here, Mike. You want to join in? Yeah, I'll come in. Come on in, Mike. Get in here. I'm surrounded by men with there beers. He is. It's a three person bulk. Mike's in here. Ah. Mm. This feels great. It's a fucking bunk party. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> I'm in the middle of a beard sandwich. It's creepy. <laughs> Sitting around eating food. I've never seen anybody meet, eat more macaroni and cheese than Mikey D. Just your ordinary ma macaroni and cheese in the microwave? That dude knows how to spice that up. That's the major impression on me. I was like, wow, that motherfucker loves macaroni and cheese. Makes an awesome pizza too. Snickers and Kit Kat. He does make a great pizza. He's quite the chef. He is. You know when you like fart and get that hot feeling? That's what it tastes like in my mouth. What's that dude, Emerald? He's got nothing. Uh -oh. Microwave Mike. And uh, Rich Gannon's got good protection. Oh, what kind of pizza was that, dude? Cheese. Oh, with tums and mustard and chocolate and crushed red pepper. How do you feel, dude? You feel like a fucking pile of shit. When we all get really ripped, that's the time when people shine. You want some good footage? Look at this. It's a crack. No, no. Come here. What's up? I'll show you what's up. Open up the curtain now. I will. That's what's up. Yeah. Josh's bare ass comes out a lot. You're in the fucking terror. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> they were screaming in fear. <laughs> Everyone likes to pick on me and like, oh, what's up, dude? And like, I'm like the butt of a lot of jokes. Things <laughs> 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 get a little wild sometimes. Okay, when I found the elusive. Drummer, Lazarus <laughs> dying. He's in his natural habitat, <laughs> fast asleep. Oh, isn't he a beaut? <laughs> he ain't a beaut. My name ain't Steve fucking Crocodile Fucker Irwin. I don't really know what to say about the Crocodile Hunter. It just, it just kind of happened. I have to see it. I haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. This is a dangerous stunt. I might be trying right now, but I'm not sure, because I'm pissed. <laughs> Josh. Oh. Josh. I kissed his ear, because he's Josh. a good mate. Oh, you're pretty much a fucking reptile anyway, so get in his bunk. Get, right. get right on top, baby. Watch out. He's faster passed out sleeping, right? Way really too much clothes on to enter that All right. <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna kill Justin. Enter the fucking elusive Jordan FLA dying drummer oh, layer. Shit. I need to fucking drop clothes. I am not fully ready. Dare I enter dare. layer? You dare. Out of the boxers. Out of the boxers. No, Josh, take off all your clothes and get in the bunk with Jordan from As I Lay Dying. He just took it and ran with it, and it was pretty awesome. Do it. Okay. <laughs> it's real easy to get him to do stuff. He doesn't really put up a fight. I need to keep me bits and pieces attacked. No, you don't. Here we go. <laughs> Joelle, you need to see this. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? You just get the fuck up. <laughs> I am in the elusive hibernation cave. 
I've been Jordan. He said that you don't want to drama. What is he doing? He's just still saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he is, dude. <laughs> He's in a state of inebriation. He does not know what is happening. <laughs> It's what I call a hit and run. <laughs> oh my god! The funny thing is, he has no idea what just happened. He doesn't even know. <laughs> I'm gonna pay chat Josh back so good. I still have to get him. Before the end of this tour, I'm gonna get him. Jordan vaguely remembered the next morning something happening. He's like, yeah, I, I kind of remember. Like, I wasn't really sure what was going on. I, I think it was, there was somebody in my bunk. Like, it wasn't too sweet. I don't want to say anything because if it really was a dream, I don't want to seem like a, like, you know, I was having dreams about Josh or something like that, you know? <laughs> awesome. Sometimes I love you, and sometimes I take your sideburns and I go... <laughs> I know I can turn to any dudes in the band if I have a problem and vice versa, so it's more of a family situation than it is a business situation. I'm going to get Pringles at the truck stop, and what you, the, you can't <laughs> stop me from getting Pringles. We didn't really hire them as crew, we hired them as friends that were wanted to work as crew, so it was pretty sweet. They're like our brothers at this point, you know, they've been with us for a long time. You used to be a good tech. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Look at me now! Look at me now! Not only can we pick on them, but they help us in ridiculous amounts of ways, infinity amounts of ways, just doing an excellent job. They've been with us through thick and thin and couldn't say more about how great those dudes are. They actually work really hard now that I think about it. Crap, we don't pay them enough. Sorry, dudes. Great money. Wow. You can ask for a better job. <laughs> this, is, this is the worst. We don't pay him, by the way. We don't pay him. This is the worst. Okay. Ever seen. <laughs> we get to see things like a lot of people wouldn't never get to see in their entire lives. Stonehenge? Yep. Me and Josh. Oh, how do you like that? This dude is too good <laughs> for fucking words. <laughs> this dude is too good for words. We get to see it with like some of our closest best friends. I'm trying to hear all the dirt that's going on in here. We got plenty of dirt on here, dude. Sick. Yeah. I want to kiss him. Oh! Look where we are. We're at Stonehenge. We're at Stonehenge. We kissed men, each other. The at fact Stonehenge. that we're here, like, not many people get to do this. No, dude, and we do, and that's fucking And the fact amazing. that we're doing this right now together With is you. amazing. Yes. It's fucking awesome. I'm digging it. Definitely one of the best parts about being in a band. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> Wheel. <laughs> and that's sort of all you can hope for when it comes to band, that you can actually get along with people and want to hang out with them besides shows or practice. I love my boys. <laughs> Good night, Mike. Good night. <laughs>